Okay, here it is. Hawthorne High School and welcome to HHS Today. I'm Caroline Lehman. And I'm Haley Oslander and thank you for joining us. Let's begin with an interview with two amazing Japanese students that shadowed some HHS TV students for the day. How are classes different here? I think the uh, I I take the history class and I thought I thought that the in Japan we can we speak uh, we don't speak in the history class but here, uh, we we talked a lot in the history class about the uh, about some some uh, pro problems, and so I think this is the difference between Japan and America. Thank you. Okay, I think so too. And uh, I surprised uh, there is a big cafeteria in this school, so. Um, in my cr in my school, uh, there is no cafeteria, and we eat lunch uh, in my class, so it's very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at HHS. Thank you. Thank you. Doing that interview was super interesting. It was crazy to hear how Japan is so different from America. Now I really want to go there. Yeah, same here. I'll book the flight. What a great way to understand more about Japanese culture. I know, right? Not only does Japan sound cool, but have you heard of J Creative Writing Club? Oh, you have to check it out. I've always had a passion for writing, and I like sharing that experience with others and passing on my knowledge. My favorite part is the relaxed environment it gives and how we are just like free thinkers in the sense that we can write whatever we want and talk about it. I would because you can get more experience with writing and get more critiques and help with anything that you really need for it, including in class and with personal projects. Our club meets in room A312 on Thursdays from 2 to 2.45. Be sure to come. Caroline, you'll definitely see me there after school today. Yeah? Save a seat for me? Of course. Everyone is welcome. So make sure to go check it out. Up next, here's a segment from the recent Honors Art Show. Um, so this is kind of a compilation of everything I've done kind of since going into high school. It's kind of, it's like a highlights reel, you could say. So I have a couple of water droplets on display uh, that are close up and a couple of portraits as well that are both black and white and color matches. art lessons since I was really little. My grandma first got me into art when I was in like first grade. But um, I've been taking lessons seriously and continuously for about three, three years now. I've always taken an art class from the day I took high school and um, it's always been my favorite thing. So I just made it into like my career in high school. I normally do film photography, but just with the time crunch of the show coming up, like I decided to do bit digital for this series, and then but I just converted everything into like black and white and edited everything out. This school is filled with creatives. There is fantastic talent here. I know. How does HHS keep all those minds active? Seriously? It's a segue to our segment from the Active Minds Club. Hi, I'm Sarah Lott. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gomes of Active Minds Club. I'm Ansley Worrell. Active Minds Club um, is a club designed to um, raise awareness about mental health and um, mental illnesses. At Active Minds, we do fundraisers such as our um, lunchtime fundraiser selling bracelets that say, that say um, you're stronger than you think. We support efforts in the community to raise awareness about mental health, such as a recent um, program that was presented on the mind-body connection and coping with anxiety and depression through exercise. 
And we're going to be starting a media campaign called Seize the Awkward, which is designed to um, simulate conversation between peers surrounding mental health. Everyone manages their mental health. And so Active Minds is appropriate for everyone. Active Minds is important just for raising awareness around the school and with your peers and in the community. Anybody can come to our meetings on Thursday afternoons in C201. Who knew that HHS has such an important club that students should attend? Mental health is very important. I agree. Can you think of something else that can keep your mind active? Actually, it's my favorite segment of the show. <coughs> Drum roll, please. Have you seen this? Okay, that's a tough one. If you know where in the school that picture is taken, email us at hhstv at hillers.org for a chance to win a prize. And our last segment is... A reminder about... Prom! Hi, my name is Bobby McGuire. And I'm Hannah Ayelli. And for the next three weeks, we'll be outside the CAF selling prom tickets. So juniors, come over and uh, pay $60 for your tickets, $65 for taking a person outside of school or is not a junior. Um, you can pick up one of these yellow forms if you're taking someone from outside of the school and make sure to return it before prom. Also, all juniors <laughs> will be receiving a picture frame. It comes with your ticket. It's pretty awesome. Thank you. All right, if you enjoyed today's show, check out more on our website. This week's online-only content is the full interview with two of our favorite Japanese students. So go check it out. That's all we have for you today. Make sure to look us up on Instagram and visit our website at hhs.today to see previous episodes, bloopers, and newly released videos from recent events that happened in town. Thank you for watching us here at HHS Today, and we will see you next time. Should we do a sign-off? Is it awkward that we're like, what do you want to do? You want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>